Okay, I'm doing a different test just to see, I don't know, um, what these things can do. I've got uh, a toy train, a roll of tape, and a Nerf gun, and I'm going to see if these two 64 millimeters on a 4 cell will uh, push them away. Here we go. train blew over, the gun moved, the tape didn't, but uh, you notice we're a good four feet away, so I think that's pretty good. I think it needs wheels. All right, um, I had the same setup, uh, two two cells. 2200 milliamps, 40C battery. Uh, those are two 64 millimeter, 4000 kV Wicked Outrunner motors. And I have two 40 amp Pentium ESCs in there. And I have the ESCs are wired in parallel, and the two two cells are wired in series. So I have both a parallel and series wiring job going on. Um, so the batteries are going to go in here nice and snug. And I'm going to keep all the wire mess up in here. Um, the ESC wires run to the back. And if we flip the plane over, which I will do now, if we flip the plane over, all of our connections to the receiver right up behind the EDF fan. So there you have it. Um, it runs great on the 2200 milliamp two cell 40C setup. Um, of course those aren't the batteries that I'm actually going to be using on this setup. I'm using these 3000 milliamp batteries which are supposed to kick out I think 120 amps as opposed to the 88 that the other batteries were so they're heavier um, I don't know we'll see how it all works out I need to run a watt meter to it to make sure I'm not drawing too many amps but there you have it I'm almost done I just need to put the vertical stabilizers on and and run some more tests and then I'll get this thing up in the air